Hey everybody, it's Kevin Forgette from Ontario Travel. I'm spending the next two days in the Peterborough and the Kawarthas finding out about the area's rich Aboriginal heritage and trying some of the experiences that you might want to actually try yourself. Our first stop is the Canadian Canoe Museum in Peterborough. Well, I think a trip to the Canadian Canoe Museum is really a must-see. This is the world's largest collection of paddled watercraft, canoes and kayaks in the world. And uh, it's also a really a good exploration of the rich canoeing heritage of the Aboriginal peoples on the lakes and rivers uh, in the Peterborough area. So it really gives you a great background to the local area and the country as a whole. The Canadian Canoe Museum has over 600 different watercraft as part of their collection, many of them on display for you to see yourself. This place is open pretty much year round with different workshops, seminars, tours and experiences. We've left the museum and made our way to the Warsaw Caves Conservation Area. One of the many things that the Canadian Canoe Museum does is take people on canoe excursions. We're going to do that right now on the beautiful Indian River. Tell us about the type of excursions you do. The Canadian Canoe Museum has a whole range of canoe programs for all ages and all abilities. From a day trip in a canoe like this, to a canoe that can hold up to 18 of your best friends and you can take a trip up and over the Peterborough Lift Lock. I've made my way to the Lang Pioneer Village Museum, a great place to find out about the early settlers of Peterborough and the Kawarthas, as well as the Mishasagi people. Welcome to Lang Pioneer Village Museum, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, Lang Pioneer Village Museum is a quite a large village. It represents a village that spans almost a century from the 1820s right up until 1900. And uh, with the Living History Museum, you'll find people in costumes from the time period demonstrating the trades and the activities of the day. And we always try to get visitors involved by trying things themselves. One of the most exciting things that we've started this year is we've partnered with our First Nation uh, community to the north, Curve Lake First Nation, and to the south, Hiawatha First Nation. And they've come to Lang Pioneer Village and set up an encampment of Nobbin Camp and they're demonstrating their history. So what were they cooking and doing in the early 1820s? And so they're talking where visitors can come and learn about their history. Nobbin Village represents the Mississauga people. It's within our territory of the Peterborough region or Nagajawinong. It represents throughout the seasons different time periods that we do um, harvesting of rice in the fall, harvesting of fish in the spring, harvesting of crops and growing crops throughout the summertime. And throughout all that, we teach our different ways of lifestyle throughout the year. It's a living history site. Day two of my tour of Peterborough and the Kawarthas. My first stop today is Petroglyphs Provincial Park, a great park to spend the entire day with the family as well as come find out about the history of the First Nations culture. Welcome to Kinemage Wapkong. This is a place of prayer, ceremony, and healing. We believe that this is, a, this is the where the, the ancestors and the spirits of the earth and sky live. It's very sacred to our people of the indigenous nations, 
and this is where this is why we don't do pictures because we believe the sacredness of it we respect those rocks so so greatly that we don't take any pictures because it, it takes away from the healing and the life force of those those rocks so you're welcome to come and enjoy the those those carvings that you'll see on the rocks here that were placed here by our ancestors many thousands of years ago perfect so i'm going to turn off the camera i'm going to go in and see it for myself so you'll have to come check it out for yourself too About a 40 minute drive from Petroglyph Provincial Park and about 30 minutes from Peterborough, you'll find the Curve Lake Cultural Centre, a building full of First Nations history. When you come to the centre, we can offer a cultural experience uh, for anyone. Anyone is welcome. We offer workshops on cultural awareness. We offer uh, workshops on cultural uh, craft work, uh, mogsons, ricing, basket making, uh, quill work. Um, we have school groups that come in and we like to teach children about the history of the First Nations of this land specific to this area. Uh, we also work with different government agencies. We work with church groups. We work with um, universities and colleges and different organizations that are interested in our culture and in our history. Just down the street from the Curve Lake Cultural Center, you'll find the Wheatong Ojibwe Center, a must-stop destination in the Kawarthas. Tell us, why should people stop into the center? Well, here at the Wheatong Ojibwe Center, we have things from all across Canada, from every tribe in Canada, and um, it's a showcase of everything that's handmade and native made, and we also have non-native made things as well. And it's a completely unique experience. Like we have a one-piece birch bark canoe, a seal skin kayak. Sometimes we have artists here demonstrating their crafts, and people are more than welcome to come and visit. We're open every day, nine till five and it's a good time. It's more than just a native art gallery though. We have lots of things for everybody to see and to touch and experience and, and just enjoy. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It's been a great couple days in Peterborough and the Kawarthas. If you want information on anything you saw in this video, head to the kawarthas.ca or of course, you can always head to our website, ontariotravel.net.